hello guys it's Fab Dutch here welcome to my channel if you're just tuning in don't forget to subscribe like share and comment today i'm going to be teaching you guys how to calibrate your ph tester or ph meter here i have three um, jars filled with 250 ml of water in each jar we have 250 ml and i have also labeled this jar to fit each of the buffer powders I'm going to be pouring into them. So I have um, two buffer powders. The first one is pH 4.01, while the second one is um, pH 6.86. So the third cup is for me to wash any utensils that I might um, put into these jars. Now, the first thing is for you to empty your buffer powders into your 250 ml distilled water please make sure you use a very very clean distilled water for this okay because if your calibration is wrong there's every tendency that when you start formulating with that particular ph meter your measurement your formulation is going to be wrong too i mean the readings on your ph is going to be wrong so after pouring the powder into each of these jars you want to stir up and as you stir each of these containers, ensure to wash your spatula so that you don't contaminate the other container with the other solution. I hope you understand. Your buffer powder usually comes with your pH meter. Whenever you purchase a new pH meter, you get at least two buffer powders with it. And if you don't get any with yours, you can always, always purchase because you need it to um, calibrate or set your digital um, ph meter so now you want to switch on your um, ph meter and then you dip it into the first solution i mean the solution that has 6.86 you dip it in then after dipping it in a screw also comes with your ph uh, meter so you dip your ph meter into your solution and then there's usually a space behind the meter where you can dip in your screw and you calibrate it till it gives you the exact figure on that particular buffer powder in this case the figure is 6.86 and we'll be approximating it to 6.9 you can leave it on 6 but i feel 6.9 is closer to 6.82 for some pH meter, it reads um, like three decimal points, so you can always have a perfect calibration with those kind of pH meter. And what we are doing is retesting what we just did, just to so we are sure that this is properly calibrated. Then you wash off your pH meter before we go ahead to, you know, calibrate um, the second solution. After washing off, you dip into your second solution, which is the solution that contains the buffer powder um, 4.01 and we want to dip it in and also repeat the same process you know turn your screw till you get the exact figure on the buffer powder in this case it is 4.01 please don't forget that i dissolved my um, buffer powder in 250 ml of distilled water before um, going through this process so now after calibrating your meter to 4.0 you want to rinse it off again and we test the two solutions to be sure just so we are sure that our calibration and settings are 100 percent okay another thing you should notice that you should always switch off your ph meter before rinsing it in water very very important okay so now i just dipped into my first solution and it, it reads 6.9 exactly that means my calibration was very very accurate so i'm going to repeat the same process for the other solution and make sure my calibration was also accurate Next, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to increase or decrease the pH level of product. So if you're not subscribed yet, you want to do that right now. If you're just tuning into my channel, you're welcome. 
please feel free to go around, check my previous video, like, share, subscribe, and do not forget to drop a comment. That will be all for today. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.